Big Dog Oil Change. This is my 2007 Big Dog K9 model. Uh, the basics in here can apply to any model, but always check your manual for specific specifications for torque, the amount of oil, etc. The most important thing you could do is ride the bike a little bit, make sure you get it really hot, then make sure you get it standing straight up. I made this little ramp so I can do it myself. I need to get the bike just a little higher so I can get my Harbor Freight jack under it. And then I take off the oil filter cap. Just don't want to, want to make sure all the oil comes out. And then you uh, saw the oil plug under there. I open that up. Let it drain out. Now, while it's draining out, all the plugs, the fluid plugs, have magnets on it. So you want to check that plug, clean up the magnet. There usually is a little metal on it, depending on how many miles your bike has on it. If it's a lot of metal, hey, you want to show it to your mechanic. And here you can see on the O-ring, it's a little torn up, so I changed it. Don't forget, put a little oil around it if you put a new O-ring back on it, just like you would on the filter. I use a little liquid Teflon. A lot of people don't like to do that. But hey, look, I've never had a problem, never had a leak, so I continue to do it that way. Now here's my little secret so you don't have a big mess on these oil change. I take a little fruit juice bottle and I cut it on this angle that you see there and I leave the sides on the bottom so I could slip it right under the oil filter. And this way you don't need to put rags in there or anything. Uh, you never have a mess. So here you can see the setup on there. Then I loosen up the oil filter and I unscrew it by hand. I do it over a pan, but I, I leave the cap on the bottle so it's easier that way than having oil dripping all over the place. But it's a lot better than, than doing it by just putting some rags in there. So that's, I definitely recommend that. Here you can see afterwards, there's always a little oil that seeps out. So that's all that came out. Clean everything up. Make sure you oil the uh, O-ring on the new filter that you're going to put on. And when you put it on, snug it up by hand and maybe go a quarter turn more. You don't want to do a gorilla move on it or anything. It doesn't need it. Check down in there on the K9 on the manual. You should just see the oil level like in this diagram when you look down that tube. You don't want the oil coming way up the tube. Now, if you have a dipstick on there, you'll see the two marks on the dipstick. Obviously, you want to get it somewhere in between there. You want to check that after you do the refill of oil and after you take it for a short ride just to make sure you got the level if you ever put too much in there make sure you use a turkey baster and get it out then you know you, before i ride it i let it idle here i check all the points there's the filler plug for the oil tank and um, i was going to make this on how to change the primary fluid too but it's running running too long so i didn't but there's the primary fluid uh, uh, nut that you're going to take off. And there's the inspection uh, port on the uh, primary. And that'll be on the next video on how to do that. But I usually do them both at the same time. And uh, I put uh, uh, 2050 weight oil in there. Depending on your preference, you can use synthetic in the engine, but never use synthetic in the primary. I always use regular oil in there. You can see the right level you look down there you just see the oil right at the bottom don't forget after your ride when you take it for a short ride after you refill it to double check it again just to make sure now the manual on the uh, uh, k9 the big dog k9 says that you after the break-in period you should change your oil every 2500 miles i do that or at least once a season whichever comes first I also change the primary at the same time, and I also change the transmission fluid. The manual says you don't have to change the transmission fluid except every 5,000 miles. But hey, it's no big deal, and I want to make sure there's no metal coming out on those plugs in there. I have no internal problems. So I change them both uh, at least once a season just to, to keep everything in top shape.
Again, be sure to check your owner's manual for all the torque specs, for the uh, right fluid, and for the right fluid levels. Be sure to visit our very popular motorcycle blog. It's San Diego Custom Motorcycles dot info and when you're there mark it as one of your favorites also be sure to get a subscription to our youtube channel so you don't miss any of our future videos hey thanks for watching